welcome to the project demonstration of iot power theft detection system and also status monitoring on the thingspeak iot cloud platform so here uh, we are going to detect the power theft energy tapping so there are two different types uh, types of power theft one is the uh, inside the home after the energy meter so if you theft that the energy meter will not uh, calculate that uh, thefted uh, load and uh, second type is uh, energy tapping in a uh, street lanes uh, street lanes or uh, else in uh, high power lanes so whenever the this uh, three are presenting uh, representing as a poles whenever the person tapping the power in between the poles then our system will identify that and inform through the audible alerts and visual alert and lcd screen and also the difference of the current will be monitored on the thingspeak cloud platform so this can be accessed from anywhere in the world directly we can see that just log into thingspeak cloud platform we can get this information the difference of power so previously we have theft load status and is a normal status okay and here the working flow is so we are going to provide the 230 volts ac through these lines directly so whenever the uh, power was normal status so then we need to provide the power into the houses directly at the pole status so this is the normal load nothing but this is the house representation and this load is representing the power theft means energy tapping over here so anywhere where uh, the power was tapping then that particular difference load will not be calculated by this ct2 and ct1 can calculate the uh, load 1 plus load 2 CT2 will only calculate the load one. So this difference will be identified by our PIC 16F73 microcontroller. So whenever the difference was occurred, so then the system will on the buzzer and uh, status will be displayed on the LCD screen, and the same status uploaded to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform through this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So we have interfaced these connections. So CT1 and CT2 interfaced to the A0, A1 pins and Wi-Fi module H pin number B0, B1 and LCD H pin number B22, pin number B7 and buzzer H C4 pin. So here let me explain the uh, like flow. So whenever we connect this CT1 in series with the load 1 and load 2 when it is added and CT2 will consider only load 1. So as we know that CT2 and uh, current transformers will provide us the AC because these are the connected in series to the AC loads. So the output of this current transformer given to this potential divider circuit because the controller can't measure the AC current. So here we can see the three resistors using as a potential divider circuit to reduce the voltage. And after that, this IC is called as DB107. So this black color is a DB107. So which will act as uh, AC to DC converter. And after that, the capacitor will provide us the smoothing purpose. It will remove the pulses. So after that, we will get the DC voltage. Means AC input to this potential divider. And DC output after this potential divider input to the A0 pin. Same like in the CT2 also. So means it will continuously monitor the DC voltage. Whenever the load was uh, added to that, then the voltage increment also measured in the DC. And coming to this motherboard, so there we can see the three major components. So one is the microcontroller, which will take inputs and control the outputs. And the this steel plated one is the crystal oscillator. So the purpose of this oscillator is to provide the 20 megahertz clock frequency to the microcontroller. 20 megahertz nothing but 20 megahertz pulses in second. So the purpose of this clock frequency is we have provided the set of instructions. Means we have provided the coding lines that coding lines will be executed one line per instruction and nothing but per pulse so per pulse the controller can execute one instruction so like that we are providing 20 mega clock pulses per second so that controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second and another third component is a reset switch to restart the microcontroller so when uh, here we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply to the system by using this adapter this adapter consists of regulated power supply section inside that so which will take 230 volts ac input and provide as the dc output so before switch on the kits we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings your phone and change the hotspot name to project 5429 without any space without any capital letter and the password should be 12345678 and the next is AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. So these three are the very important on the data and on the hotspots and the data. And then log into the ThingSpeak cloud platform with the given credentials stay on the screen. So now on the power supply to the motherboard first. 
so remove this right now it is normal condition so you can see one device will be connected over here right and after that you can on it on the power supply to the power lines so now it is a normal load only uh, domestic house power consumption right so you can erase the old data so for that channel settings and in that only do clear channel only clear channel don't do other options it may affect the project execution and after that and go to private view so clear ch channel settings clear channel and then private view stay on the screen so the data will be uploaded to the thingspeak cloud platform for every 15 seconds of duration so as it will accept the duration of 15 seconds only right now it is normal as we can see the the theft current is zero whenever we add the theft load well demonstration we should take care of this right so the theft message will be displayed on the lcd screen and buzzer will get switched on so wait for 12 seconds at least so that we will get the the status of theft current will be plotted on this platform right so we can see the the rising one so before on the kit better to clear the channel setting uh, clear the channel from the channel settings and on the hotspots and you can directly execute the step by step